Hey, what's up guys? Jake here, and today I'm going to be doing a bit of Pyramid Plunder because I want to get my thieving up, and this is the best way to level up thieving at this level. Uh, the rewards right now are pretty useless, but the experience is pretty good. And I'm probably going to do it a couple more times and then leave because I might need more anti-poisons. But as you can see, got a Fury on, which is pretty nice. And I also have a Pharaoh Scepter, which I just bought to teleport here quicker. It's pretty expensive, but once I'm done, I can just sell it back for about the same price. I can actually get it recharged here, I think, so that's fine too. So let's get started. If you guys have never done Pyramid Plunder, basically, you go in a pyramid, and you click on a bunch of stuff, and uh, if you're lucky, you don't get completely fucked. So that's basically, basically the goal here. And I'll show you guys what I mean once I get started. I'm actually going to skip the first room, because the first room for me just is a, seems to be a pain in the balls. It seems like I never get lucky with this shit. Like, I, I always get bit by the snakes every time, and it's just irritating, and it also gives me more time to do the last room, or not the last room, rather, the second room, because that's the one I can use. Well, that's a dead end. So basically, all you do is you go in this room, you click on stuff, and I'll actually click on this, because there's a 1 in 1,000 chance you get a, uh, a sarcophagus, or, or another gold sarcophagus. Looks like we didn't get anything, but uh, that's fine. But if you do get that 1 in 1,000 chance, it's pretty awesome, because, you know, it's like a free three mil or something so I'm going into this room which is closer to my thieving level I need 41 to uh, to do the next one and I'm level 40 so basically you just click on everything in here and then you either like loot it like that and you get stuff but it's all pretty much worthless so I'm not picking any of it up or you get bit by a snake like that and you get poisoned and uh, it can be kind of annoying with the RNG sometimes because you could just sit here and click on them a hundred times and just get bit every time which is kind of annoying, but it seems like the second room, I'm like way luckier than the first room. Like the first room, I'll sit there for like five whole minutes just clicking and getting hit over and over again, which is super annoying. But uh, yeah, like like this basically. But uh, usually I, I get these ones, uh, maybe not my first try, but you know, relatively quickly, which is kind of nice. But I'm just uh, skipping to this room. That way I can get more experience because you do get more experience for each one of these. As well as, uh, that way when I'm done I can just leave and then not, you know, and just come back really quick. Because this is really good experience. After that I'll probably be blackjacking until like level 53. Because that's a good level, I guess, just to stop. Because that's what you need for desert treasure. So yeah. And, uh, as far as my, my plans of going, I've been doing a lot of skilling, a lot of questing. Uh, so that's basically the gist of it. I'm probably not going to upload that many videos in the near future. Mainly because I made the mistake of like recording a lot of videos and not uploading them all so I need more time to catch up anyway and it just so happens that I'm doing a lot of skilling so I just figured it would make more sense to just take a bit of a break from the videos by the time you're actually seeing this one uh, as far as my skills go since I got plenty of time here uh, level 73 fire making I want to get 99 fire making at some point it's kind of a doozy it's a lot of clicking but uh, I just kind of like the skill cape it's really cool and it's not that bad of a 99 and not that many people have it either so I think a lot of people hate it, but I kind of like it, so I'm probably going to get that eventually. Uh, I got like a million, basically all of it, uh, like yesterday, so uh, hopefully we get that eventually. This sarcophagus over here only gives us strength experience, and it's multi-combat, so if you want to be a douchebag, you can open this up, and if like a mummy comes out, he'll attack everybody, but uh, I'll open it just for kicks, see if, if we can even open this. We're slightly wimpy, but there we go. See if there's a mummy in here. I looted it already, and I you just get a bunch of junk, basically. Hope, oh, come on, always lucky. What did I get? Eh, nothing. All right, and now I just leave and start over. Just keep doing it over and over again. So, yeah. All right, guys, I have no idea what the hell is going on. I'm going to show you something really, really trippy. Okay, look at these people, all right? Take a close look at these people, okay? We've got the one wearing the adamant top with the blue hair, and then we have the one with the iron rune skim. Uh, iron, regular boots, whatever. All right, watch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop a world, okay? Keep, just keep an eye on those people. I'm gonna hop a world, all right? I'm a world 42. I've gone through every single one of these worlds so far, up until 42. So we'll just go to 43. We'll just go to 43 here. That's the same person. That's the. These are the same people. Except this time it's a male and a female, but okay, just just look, okay? They're dressed the same. Let's try another world. Let's just try another fucking world, okay? What am I in? 43? Let's try 44, okay? Let's just try another world. See what we find. Oh, what do you fucking know? 
iron, adamant person. Don't tell me this is a fucking coincidence, all right? I've gone through every single world up until these, and every single one has had one person wearing iron, full iron, the, uh, the this necklace, the rune scimitar, the regular boots, and this person with... This one's usually a little bit different. The hair sometimes is a bit different, regardless, and the adamant top. I have no idea why. I'm really, like, I, I don't know what's going on right now. All right, let's try another world. Let's just, let's just fucking try another. What the fuck is this? Oh. Well, what do you know? Oh, wait, where's his friend, though? Oh, there we go. My bad. <laughs> you couldn't see him because of this one. Look at this shit. What's going on? I honestly, it's just like some kind of like, what is, are the, I know these are bots. These have to be bots, but like, why are they all the same? And they're all pretty much the same level, like 60 to 70. Like, why are they all exactly the same? Let's hop another world. All right. That's 46. Let's try, we'll try uh, 50. Let's just see. Let's just fucking take a look. What do you fucking know? I'm so confused right now. Is this a glitch or is this actually happening? What is this? What the fuck is this shit? Every single world. I found one world that was empty, okay? And then two seconds later, both of these assholes showed up. What the fuck's going on? I don't understand. Let's hop another world, shall we? Let's just hop another fucking world. Oh. What do you know? We got the rune... Skimitar iron asshole, and we got the adamant plate body, no helmet asshole, and they're both wearing the same fucking necklaces. What is going on? What the fuck is this? Is this some kind of glitch, or is it, are these just bots, and how are they all exactly the same? Are they all the same person botting? I don't understand. I just wanted to kill some fucking chaos druids, but looks like that's not gonna fucking happen, because every single world has fucking these two assholes in here. What the fuck? Am I just seeing things? What is going on? I'm so confused. I show up to Falador, I tell you here, because I was finishing up my herb run, and all of a sudden the guards say, oh, you know, there's something going on in the in the drop room. So I was like, okay, I'll just show up, see what's going on. If there's a lot of people, I might join in. If there's not, then, you know, whatever. Because I was expecting these people to be like, oh, we don't know, you get the fuck out of here. Or like Hop Worlds or, or do something. But I show up and they're like, oh, no, you're cool. Come on in, you know, get, get some free shit. So I was like, all right. So I, I show up here and uh, I, I I get some stuff. And I feel like I made out like a fucking bandit because, like, look at this shit. That's not the right tab. Look at this shit. There's 16 Dragon Dagger Poison Plus Plus. I know it's not like a ton of money, but like, look at this shit. Like, I got a lot of stuff here that I didn't have before. Like, I got like 700K or something like that worth of stuff. Like, some of it, like, the nine bronze two-hand swords is just kind of junk, but, like, like, look at all this stuff, man. I'm just freaking out right now. Like, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm just mind blown that, like, this just randomly happened to me at five in the morning that these guys just decided, yeah, you know what, we're gonna just go drop a bunch of shit. So, I'm, like, super, super, like, thankful that this happened because it pretty much made every, like, any unlucky shit that's happened to me in this game, and for the most part, not that much bad shit happens to me, I just get salty when people try and PK me and waste my time, but, like, this just made it pff, all, all better, like, I'm, I'm good now, like, I'll, I'll die a couple times in the wild now, I don't care, because I'm just really, really lucky, and I wouldn't even get the most stuff either, I thought I made out like a bandit, one guy got, like, a fury and, like, a mill or something in cash, like, that's nuts, but I'm just, like, really, really, really excited right now, because I, I just got all this stuff, I don't know what these platinum tokens are, they're worth, like, 1k each, I don't even know what tab to put these in, we'll just throw them for here, in here for now, and a lot of, a lot of the stuff I'm gonna sell, or, like, I might alk the mithril battle axes, I'm not 100% sure, but it's just, it's just nuts, like, <laughs> he's like, eh, I'll just drop 16 dragon daggers, why not, so there goes my dragon dagger stack, it goes from 1 to uh, 17, so, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, I know I did, and I'll, uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.